good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. I'm going to walk and talk here on the Boulevard in Torrevieja early in the morning, talking about Bitcoin, blockchain and life, of course, guys. Um, I have about four amazing Bitcoin charts. I have a trading tip. I have some travel advice. I'm going to talk about the news. I'm going to answer a question of one of the followers. And yes, of course, ending with an inspirational quote, guys. A video packed with cool information, cool charts, but also a very special message from me to you guys. Yes, and the sun is starting to rise again. Beautiful morning here in Torre Vieja, Spain. Let's first jump into the charts to see exactly what is Bitcoin doing today. The first chart for the day, guys, is this four hour chart. On the four hour chart, we can see we are bottom out in that red area. We even wick to the exact bottom of this area. That buy signal that we thought that could be a buy signal was not a buy signal, turned again into a sell signal. Yes, you will make some losses. At least the winners need to be bigger than the losses. Um, that's also why there is not a buy signal yet in the VIP group because we don't have the indication yet to take that long. I do think that will soon happen. There will be a reversal on the market, but I will zoom out to show you what is happening to Bitcoin today. So keep on hanging in there because I have amazing charts for you guys. This chart is a daily chart that we said, okay, we are breaking here. Maybe we break out, but we broke out to the bottom. Then we need to look to which levels of support are we gonna fall. Of course, we always can look at the volume, but we can also look at the Fibonacci retracement tool, this one, and we can see that the 0.618 level is a very important one always, is that exactly where these wicks are heading now. The 0.5 level is also a very important one. That one is around 57,000 US dollar. But for that to happen, we should wick down below this blue line. And the blue line at the moment is gonna be the next line of support. The blue line is, I'm gonna click on it so you can see it, the 12 weekly moving average, not the daily, the 12 weekly. So here is gonna be a lot of support and that's around that 0.618 level. If we drop through this, 0.5 should be the ultimate dip at 57,000 US dollars. So you can put some buy orders there. I don't think that we are gonna drop there already. I see that we have waked to 57 already a few times on other exchanges. But over here should be the massive area of support. Now, if we look to the bigger picture, if you zoom out a little bit, you can see a very important chart. On the weekly, we can see a bottom, a high, a higher low, a higher high, a higher low, a higher high, a higher low, a higher high, a higher low. At the moment, this, if you zoom out, is an upward trend. We are going up. The moment the Bitcoin price would go like this, would drop below this higher low over here, there. If we drop below that, yes, then that is a reversal of the trend. Until that we do that, we are still in this same trend. We are still in the upward trend. So even if that higher low would fall to the level, for example, of 47,000 US dollar, it would still be a higher low than the previous higher low, even if you fall till there. It's still a higher low. We could still reverse and go up. There's still a trend. I know it's a huge drop, but for TA, we are still then in the upward trend. We will only be in a reversal when we have a price that is lower than that previous higher low. Hope that is a little bit clear, guys. Uh, I'm gonna remove all these lines. Uh, so very important. Now let's zoom out a little bit more and take a look at some important charts that you need to see today. The first chart that you need to see today is this one. These are the bull market correction drawdowns. We can see that, for example, in this one over here, 2011-13, we even dropped almost 80%. You can see the percentages in this side over there. Here, this blue one was a very mild one. It was 40% was the biggest dip. That was a 2017 bull market. There was a couple of these dips of like in the 30%, but 40% was the biggest one. Now we have this green here, the 2018 to 21 bull, the previous bull market. We even dipped here. Look how far we dipped. Almost 70%. We dipped all the way there. That was the COVID crash. And then we dipped here, 60%, 40%. If we now take a look at this moment, you're all freaking out 
I see a lot of reactions. Oh, the bear market is over. I see all of that crying. This is the mildest, mildest bull market I have ever been in. These dips have been nothing. These dips have been maximum of 22%, 23%. Compare it to all these other bull markets, guys. And you will see that all the buggers before were way more volatile. Look at that green area below the dotted lines. The blue, the pink, even the yellow, they were all way more volatile, way more massive dips. I think we need to be very happy with what we see today. This is nothing. These are normal dips, part of the bull cycle. Don't cry, but buy. If you look at the cycle, then normally we should be doing something like this. These black lines here, the vertical ones, these are the halvings. And every time when we have a halving, we can see we come up to the halving, we can have a small correction, but then again we go into that massive pump in the next 12 months and even create a top in the next 18 months. Every time, every time here is the halving, top 70 to 18 months, top 17 to 18 months from that halving, top 17 to 18 months, we will see the same. We will be at the halving, we can have a small dip and you can all start crying. Or you can understand this cycle, believe me, and start buying. And then 12 months later, we will be much higher around maybe here. Look at these levels, 150k, 140k. Maybe even a top to 500k if it is up to plan B stock to flow model. All possible. But the thing that I want to show you, this is all crystal ball predictions. We will be higher than we are now. And after that, yes, we will get a beautiful bear market in 2026 and create a bottom probably here in 2027. And then you will be buying maybe at levels of 100K or 80K or 60K, something like that, because that will be the new bottom before we go up into that new run all the way up into May 2028, where we will see the next halving. And in that halving, we could be maybe around a million dollars per Bitcoin. Of course, a very bullish chart, but the thing that you need to take away from this chart is 12 months to 70 months after the halving, we have always been higher than around that halving, always. And it's not gonna change. This is the ultimate dip you should be buying. To show you a little bit more clear, uh, if you compare it to the last two bull cycles, this is now where we are. Now, in 2017, we went still massively up. In 2021, we still went massively up. We're talking about 9,000 to 10,000% over here. We're talking about 2,000% over there. We are now here. We are exactly where we need to be. At the moment, we are outperforming both of these cycles. We are higher than the blue line and we are higher than the red line. We will end probably in between these lines, to be very honest. So that could still be a beautiful run all the way up to like 1500% from the bottom over there, which is a massive result for Bitcoin, which would mean we would go somewhere to 150K to 500K indeed. If we would underperform, like we have always been doing, we have been seeing decreasing results, 10,000%, we can see 2,000%, we can also see maybe only 400%, then the top will be here, somewhere around that level, around 400%. And that would mean that we would cross all of these bars, like uh, we will go through this, uh, to this way, almost sideways, <laughs> which in my honest opinion is not possible. So I think the top will be at least somewhere um, at these levels, guys, over here, between those two. But let's see. Nobody has a crystal ball. That's what I think. The only thing you can see is that the moment where we are is only the beginning. This is the beginning of that massive run that we will see in the next 12 to 18 months. Then if we take a look at the Fibonacci levels, then the yellow is a, a one level, the zero level is over here the red one, and then we have the 0 0.702 and the 0 0.786 levels over there in uh, red and green. And if we calculate the Fibonacci, we always see the same thing happening. You can see it, just pause the video and check it for yourself. But you can see that we are always fighting that one level line, always. When we fight that line and we break that line, that is when that new bull market, uh, second part of the bull market starts. When we fight that line, here it took a couple of months, there's a monthly chart, so that's one, two, three months of fighting that area before that second part of the bull market happened already increased in it already increased tremendously till that moment but then after that we went even higher 
Here again, we were fighting the level for a month. Uh, this is, of course, 2021. And then after that, we broke it. Bam, we went up again. And that's how we create the new one level. And that one level at the moment is at 62,879. So that is the level that we are fighting continuously. Now for the second month, the moment we break that, we will go up and go create a new ultimate high. In my honest opinion, it could be indeed 150K. That would be a very beautiful all-time high. The cycles are repeating itself. They are rhyming. Fibonacci levels are showing us the targets if we compare it back to the history. I hope you really enjoyed those charts, guys. Yes, short-term view. Of course, we held support of 61K. Now we need to find that 63K level, break that level again, maybe take it even to that 72K level where all those liquidations again will happen to the bears. And if we are not strong enough uh, to break those bears, then we could fall back to 57K. That's just how it is. But the most important part, I'm just enjoying this beautiful sunrise over there, guys. The most important part is that you realize this is not the end of the bull market. This is just the beginning. We are in the net of the bull market. We are two days or one day even before the halving. This halving is going to take place. This will lead to a supply shock. This will lead to the price going up again. There has not been one halving before that the price went down after the halving. Yes, we had dips, short term dips, a dip of 15% or 20%, all possible guys. But in the long term, 12 months after the halving, we were way higher than during that halving. So please remind that it's very important to understand that that halving is a very important event. And that halving is gonna take place within 48 hours, guys. So make sure you buy these dips. I will keep repeating it. Buy this dip, buy this dip, buy this dip. 60K, 57K, 62K, it really doesn't matter as Bitcoin will move highly above 100K you won't be crying about that 2k cheaper you bought bitcoin or more expensive you bought bitcoin because you will be 40 to 50k in profit for each bitcoin it's a beautiful rocky space over here you guys i'm going to show you um of course there's also a beautiful beach over there but yeah something else normally white sand beaches palm trees now we have these beautiful cliffs the sunrise so when it comes to Bitcoin, always remember to zoom out in Bitcoin. Look at that bigger picture. Look what happened every time, each and every time again, 12 months after the halving. We were way higher than during the halving. So during the halving, these dips are the most important dips to buy because they might be the last opportunity to buy Bitcoin at these levels. Simple as that. I'm not freaking out. I'm not crying. I am zooming out and I am buying. The trading tip for today, guys, is about an NFT. I hope the sound of the wave, guys, gives you again the feeling that we had in Thailand, the relaxing beach feeling. We haven't seen booties yet, but I'm gonna walk the boulevard later, and maybe you will see some booties over there again. But today's trading tip, guys, is about NFTs. Because there is one NFT that is a very big one, or at least it was a huge one in the previous bull market, and it's called Board Ape Yard Club. You will all uh, recognize those apes. These apes are now in a sale because they crashed 90% from the top. The bottom of the apes NFT is now around 11 Ethereum. We can even scoop a few of them up around 10 Ethereum already what I saw. So this floor price now reaching sub 10 ETH is a really cheap price to buy and board ape yacht. Of course, it's still a shitload of money for a picture as a lot of people say because 10 ETH is still around 30K. But these apes had a value of 100 ETH, 200 ETH. I even saw a few, I think, for 300 ETH in the previous bull market. So if you are an NFT guy, this is just a reminder that the Board 8 Yard Club NFT is dropping to a floor price of around, and the C comes very close, 10 Ethereum. So I was doubting to buy around 20 ETH. I didn't buy. I was waiting. Now that crash came at 10 ETH. Maybe I will pick up a beautiful board ape yacht club ape. Let me know down below which one I should buy at the moment. The travel tip for today, guys, is about how to spend your bitcoins. Now, in a lot of countries, just like here in Torre Vieja, they have Bitcoin ATMs. I think there is around four ATMs here in Torre Vieja. 
These ATMs, you can use them to exchange cash to Bitcoin or to exchange Bitcoin to cash. These ATMs have high fees. Most of them have around 6 to 10% in fees. So you will lose a lot of your cash or of your Bitcoins. A better way, of course, is to use these debit cards. For example, the Bybit debit card. If you sign up to Bybit using the link down below, you get access to a Bybit debit card that is connected to all your crypto on that exchange and your funding account. And whenever you want to spend something at a grocery store or at a shop or at a beach club, you just use that debit card, which is MasterCard supported, and you will just lose a little bit of Bitcoin or lose a little bit of USDT, whatever currency you prefer, and that will be converted into the currency of that country. Here in Spain, not Spanish pesetas anymore, also that filthy euro, <laughs> but you will lose euros or Thai baht or whatever currency that is used in that country. And so the debit cards are already cheaper than, of course, using those ATMs. Now, the best way still is, of course, OTC, over the counter, which means you meet a person here somewhere in a beautiful bar, you eat some tapas and a coffee, he gives you cash and you give them Bitcoin. It's not like legal in every country, but now who will find out? And why is that the best way? Because in that way, you bring cash in the circulation again to those people. And with that cash, those people will be able again to buy Bitcoin in a non-KYC way. So by that, you do support the decentralization and the privacy of Bitcoin. Because the best way to buy Bitcoin is still non-KYC. So for me, I always prefer to spend Bitcoin directly. So that's peer to peer from person to person, pay in a shop with Bitcoin or pay the rent with Bitcoin. But if that is not possible, then you can use, for example, the Bitcoin ATMs or use, for example, an OTC dealer, meet someone on the street or, of course, use those debit cards. It is very difficult for me to say if I prefer the debit cards over OTC because O2C has advantages and also disadvantages. The debit card's biggest advantage, the debit card's biggest advantage is that you stay as long as possible in Bitcoin. Because of the debit cards, you will stay in Bitcoin exactly till the moment that you spend the money. With an OTC deal, you are not doing that. With an OTC deal, you're exchanging your Bitcoins today into a lot of cash because you don't want to meet someone every day. And then that cash is in your hands. So at that moment, you are not completely vested in Bitcoin. A huge part of your capital at that moment is also in cash. And you will be spending that cash everywhere. But at that moment, you're not in Bitcoin. If the Bitcoin prices increases, you will be in cash. With these debit cards, for example, on Bybit, you will still be in Bitcoin. If the Bitcoin price goes up during the bull market, you will still have that price jump. You will only spend Bitcoins on the moment you use the debit card. So the beautiful part of the debit card is the same like a hardware wallet or a software wallet. The only moment that you lose Bitcoins is the moment that you really use them. OTC, yes, more privacy, and yes, you are a little bit more anonymous, but you're also vested then in that cash that you exchange for your Bitcoins. So it's always like choosing yourself which one is the best one. For me at the moment, the best one is still peer-to-peer -peer payments with Bitcoin, but sadly that is not possible everywhere. So if it's not possible, I will use those debit cards and I will do a little bit of OTC. Uh, the ATMs sadly are my last point that I would visit because it's just too expensive. The fees are too high. They should lower the fees. There sadly was not a good question that I could find down below the comments, so please don't forget to leave questions down below that I need to answer in these videos. So what I want to do today is, I want to uh, thank you from the bottom of my heart, really thank you for all the positive comments below my videos all the time, but also, for example, below the podcast of Lotgenoten. Lotgenoten is a Dutch podcast that I recorded like a week ago, it's an amazing podcast, and that podcast has a, a lot of views, a lot of Dutch people watching it, but the comments down below it, they are really beautiful, really positive. I want to thank the Dutch community really for all these positive uh, vibes and these positive comments, because it just touches me in uh, who I am. I am doing all of that. I'm going out there, I'm talking very honestly and publicly and openly about me, my family and everything else, and it's really beautiful to see that people start to understand my vision, start to understand the steps that I took, but also start to support it and maybe even copy it and do the same. So really thankful for all the positive comments about the Lot Kenota podcast, but also for all and each comment down below every day's video. I'm very thankful that you're watching all these videos. We are growing tremendously when it comes to uh, subscribers at the moment. I think we are even at 72 
thousand subscribers almost uh, still not 75,000 when we reach 75,000 I will do a beautiful giveaway I think around 750 US dollar uh, to one person that follows or subscribes to the channel something like that of course in Bitcoin I'm not gonna give you dollars I'm not gonna give you euros I'm gonna give you Bitcoin so again thank you very much for all the comments for all the thumbs ups for watching the Lot Kenota podcast for watching Bo for watching the series uh, as a family we are really really appreciating this of course it could have gone also completely in the other direction it could have been a lot of hate because of the series on Amazon Prime a lot of hate because of all the uh, opinions I give in all those podcasts but it is no hate anymore it was hate in 2017 and 18 there was a lot of hate and envy and people shouting at us uh, in, in very negative ways but now here 2024 people really understand now why we chose Bitcoin why we chose to be instead of not to be and I'm really thankful my family is thankful for all that positivity that you're giving us back in those comments thank you and also the direct messages that was uh, not answering a question but that was answering all your thumbs ups and I don't know if you notice it but there was already a few booties running by yeah I will make a slow motion out of it next time so you can really enjoy it no guys I'm not a psycho I'm not a weirdo I'm not gonna do that I know that you just like that joke about the Bitcoin booty beach at least rocky beach over here but there is a sandy beach there and a sandy beach there but like I prefer to do it here it's more stable now with walking uh, the news for today guys the huge exchange Kraken I don't know if you all know Kraken but Kraken is one of the biggest exchanges out there and one of the oldest one the one of the most robust one they now also announce that they are coming out with their self-custodial wallet so a lot of the exchanges Binance has it Bybit has it they are creating own wallets that you can use to store your cryptocurrency in a self-custody so it's the same like a software wallet like green wallet of Asabi wallet or even the ledger but that's a hardware wallet then so they now have these software wallets that you can use to uh, store your cryptocurrency completely in a safe way you have full access to the private key you have full access to the seed trace so it's completely in a safe private way and Kraken now announced that they also are gonna um, roll out that wallet and the reason they're gonna roll out that wallet is because they want you to be able to use all your funds also on decentralized exchanges they just said it like that in their newsletter you should be able to also hold self-custody you should be able to connect that wallet to decentralized exchanges like for example Apex Pro and trade over there because they also admit that there is a shitload a shitload of AML KYC regulations that now force people to show what crypto they own what Bitcoins they own and Kraken is one of the oldest Bitcoin they also don't want Bitcoin to die completely they want Bitcoin to keep their core fundamentals of privacy being unconfiscatable being usable all over the world borderless you know and that is why these exchanges now invest also money in creating self-custody wallets and then they still have of course beautiful connections and then they still will be used in the future probably also on a decentralized Kraken the decentralized Bybit of course is already Apex Pro and I think all these big exchanges will come out with a decentralized version of their exchange but the first step then should be you having a wallet to store all your cryptos to be able to connect that wallet in the far future to those exchanges so really cool step of Kraken congratulations with the creation of the new wallet and yes it is telling me if you zoom out in the bigger picture yes these centralized exchanges are going to be very important and for you it will be very important to educate yourself on how to use them if you sign up to our VIP section uh, you will also get some education about Apex Pro on how to use it it's the best decentralized exchange out there with the most liquidity in my honest opinion what a beautiful morning it is again guys that was the news for the day Kraken also now launching a self custody wallet just like all the other exchanges already did and I'm gonna end the video again of course with the inspirational quote while the construction continues over there uh, it will take another week and then they should be finished yeah it's pain so I think uh, they will do tranquilo mañana mañana it will take a little bit longer but the quote for today guys is emancipate yourself from mental slavery none but ourselves can free our mind 
You all know that is the quote that Bob Marley uses to sing as well. I think it's really true. We really need to emancipate ourselves from mental slavery. We think that we are controlled by the people around us, by the governments, by everything else that we always hate. We think they control us. They can only control us when you allow them to control you. It is all up to you to mentally break free from that slavery. It is you. It is not them, it is you. You can't change all those politicians. You can't change all those bankers or wankers, whatever you call them. You can't change all your friends' opinion. You can't change your family. The only person that you can really change is yourself. You need to break free from that mental slavery. No one else can do that. That is a very inspirational text and a very deep text. But you really need to understand it and embrace it. Because I feel that a lot of people that I meet and I speak with or do Zoom calls with always blame the rest, always blame the complete world, always blame everyone except themselves for not changing into who they want to be. And the only way that you will become who you should be or who you want to be or who you need to be is by emancipating yourself from mental slavery. None but ourselves are able to do that. So the moment you emancipate to that point in life that you completely break free from that mental slavery, thinking that you depend on all the rest of the world, thinking you depend on your boss, thinking you depend on your family, your friends, your government, the moment you break free from that thought, that is the moment you can start to build to a new version of yourself that is free to do whatever he wants, that is free to walk that beautiful new path in life wherever it is in the world. It can still be in the Netherlands, can still be in Germany, can still be wherever it is, but you need to break yourself mentally free from that slavery. I think that's one of the most important and deep lessons that Bob Marley gave us all. Emancipate yourself from mental slavery because none but ourselves can free our mind. Now, that was everything for today, guys. And yes, of course, some beautiful things over there. Uh, I hope you really enjoyed this video today. If you did enjoy the video, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about this beautiful small part of the boulevard? Of course, I can be walking like miles over here. It's a very long stretch boulevard, even a beautiful beach. Uh, I will keep that till the next time. You know, I will change the scenery now and then, again and again, so that you, of course, will see some beautiful new things that uh, every day, not only my face on that beautiful rooftop over there, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. I wish you an amazing day. I see you tomorrow again. Bam.